Hey guys, in this video I just want to show you here pretty quick on how you can go ahead and root your Android device uh, running on Android 2.3.4 but I suppose that this works for 2.3.5, 2.3.6 as well uh, and I already made a video showing how you can go back uh, to Android 2.3.4 stock I'm using my European Samsung Galaxy S2 here uh, i9100 so I'm going ahead I'm going to go ahead and root it right now and uh, I mean I suggest that you go ahead and read you know the full guide here uh, and I'm also going to go ahead and go through it pretty quick there's some things that you need to download and some things like that but uh, you know, when you have been once you have done it, you know, once it's it's kind of easy to do again. Uh, but uh, okay, so first of all, there is a lot of things you need to download. Uh, first, you need to download. We're going to use a program called Odin, um, and what Odin basically is is that it's uh, like a program that lets you install custom firmwares on your Samsung Galaxy S2 or on other you know, Android devices. We are going to use a, a firmware file called XWKDD or at least I think that's the firmware file, yes I think that's the firmware file that we're going to use. Um, and uh, then we're going to use, okay so you need to download first Odin, uh, XW, and then you need to download the XWKDD file. Super one click, that's going to be the program that we are going to use when we're going to root our Android device. Uh, and then also you need the drivers uh, the correct driver for Samsung Galaxy S2, so these you know rooting programs could you know uh, see could access your phone. So go ahead and download the latest Samsung Keys 2.0, and uh, you know boot it up once. So I've already downloaded all of these three things. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and boot up Keys first, um, just to see that I have the correct drivers. So this, this is the first time I boot up uh, Keys with my Android 2.3.4. Um, so let's see here. Keys reinstall. Okay, that's weird. So I already thought that I had Samsung keys. Don't I already have that installed? Yes, I think so. Okay, so good. Setup is not complete. Okay, there we go. Um, so we are basically connecting here. And I think that, uh, you know, once you see your device being connected, uh, you have the correct drivers installed and everything. Okay, there we go. You can see that it's recognizing my phone, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, sweet. So now we can go ahead and I assume that we can just um, close this keys software. So if not, are you sure it won't exit? Yes. Okay, so let's continue uh, on this XDA developer guide. Um, so you have downloaded all of those files, you have installed Samsung Keys 2.0. Uh, now you may need to make sure that your phone is in USB debugging mode. Uh, so what we're basically just going to do here is we're going to go here to settings. Uh, and then we're going to go to... Oh, wait a sec. Settings, applications, settings, applications. Settings, applications. Uh, and then we need to go down to development, use USB debugging mode. Uh, I, oh yeah, we need to remove the cable first. Allow that, okay. And if you're not sure what you're doing, uh, you should also know that root could actually break your phone if you are not careful, but that you know rarely happens. But you know, if, you, if you are scared of your phone, if you don't like these things, don't do it. It's only for hardcore users like me and you know most of the guys that's watching this video. Um, so USB debugging, have that go ahead and you know do it like that. Now we need to go ahead and go to download mode. So we need to go ahead and uh, turn off our device. And uh, download mode is something that every you know phone out there, you know Samsung Galaxy has to have. Uh, and uh, it's very simple to access it. You just hold down uh, when it's once it's turned off. Uh, we're gonna turn it on by holding in three buttons on screen uh, the home button and the lock screen button and also the power or volume down button so let's go ahead and do that okay I'm just gonna throw away my phone because it is uh, annoying. Okay, so you're gonna get this warning, uh, nothing to care about, just click volume up. Uh, oh yeah, you should also maybe read this if you are new to this, but you know, it's kind of basic that you should be careful. But you know, we know what we're doing, so I'm gonna just click like that, 
and now you're gonna get this scary screen called downloading blah blah, blah but it's actually not doing anything uh, but we are going to go ahead and start uh, firing up Odin tool right now um, and it's gonna be very very simple uh, also you know connected to USB of course all the time uh, have the USB plugged in there um, and uh, okay so just fire up Odin that we downloaded uh, it comes in a you know a, a zip file you can just use 7-zip it's a free program to unzip files uh, and use uh, unpack or unroar here uh, and I've already have it you know, unpacked and ready to go so fire it up and you should see this you know kind of red or yellow thing here if you see that that's a good thing that basically means that uh, Odin recognize your kind of phone you should also see added text down there message and then when you disconnect it you should see the text removed um, so that's kind of nice so we have Odin fire up and what you want to make sure you have right now is only in options you only want to have auto reboot and F reset time text not flash lock not repartition not phone EFS clear not phone bootloader now we want to go down to PDA okay click on that and we want to go to our desktop and find our uh, xwkdd uh, underscore insecure dot talk we download it as well uh, you want to tap on that use that one and I'm pretty sure that we could go ahead and go uh, press start and you should now be flashing the kernel the device should reboot okay so that's kind of awesome let's go ahead and go to Odin and do use that hit start and it will start uh, playing around with your kernel and cool things like that okay there we go uh, you can see the text removed it's because it should be restarting my device and you should also see that you know kind of triangle thing down there I think uh, that basically means that you're not running on stock I think running on a custom firmware but you're still gonna have you know Android 2.4 right now uh, but it uh, should be kind of like rooted <coughs> Or no, it's not rooted, but uh, we have fixed the kernel and stuff like that, so that's kind of awesome. And also, one thing that I noticed is that the screen gets kind of, you know, it doesn't look kind of the same. It looks uh, a little weird, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so we're finished now with Odin. Uh, it has rebooted. Now you just want to cl uh, open up Super One Click Program and uh, click on the big root button. Also, we are you know still connected with the USB. Um, so you just open up Super One Click. Uh, you know, extract it. You start like uh, with Seven Zip. Uh, fire it up. You have the big, big, large uh, root button down there. I'm just gonna tap on it and it's gonna do a lot of things in the background okay and it's uh, like automatically going to find exploit that it, it's going to use uh, we can see that it's it's doing a lot of things uh, if we go ahead and oh yeah you, sh you shouldn't try to move the window because uh, it, can't, it uh, could crash uh, yeah that kind of sucks Ah, oh, we may have to redo this. Shouldn't have tried to move the window. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And I mean, you should be careful when you're playing around. Okay, there we go. Uh, you shouldn't try to move the window. You know, it's it's kind of bad. Uh, but it, but it's going to do a lot of things down here as we can see here on the right side It's going to sleep the phone a bit. It's going to you know the developers here found a gingerbread. They're gonna Send sending 149 circlings. I'm not sure what that is, but at least they're doing something here uh, I'm not sure how long this recording is going to be but hopefully not too long and as we can see here this is for Android 2.3 so should work with any like Android 2.3.6 or any in Android 2.3 version I think uh, 2.4 did they even release that I don't think so and that's good okay so you may see you know sometimes that the program stops responding and stuff like that hopefully you won't fail okay uh, overseer found overseer found the path um, kind of funny, you know, developer guys over there. Uh, yeah. 
And you will see the text routing the device and all of these scary things. That's good. That basically means that it's probably work. Uh, yeah, this is code. This is hardcore stuff. If you're an iOS developer, I'm gonna say it again. This is bad shit, okay? This is worse than jailbreaking. This is hardcore. I would say actually that it, it, it's a little more complicated uh, to, to root your device than jailbreaking. Uh, it, this is gonna take, you know, some, you know, maybe a couple of minutes uh, because it's going to do a lot of things. Sending over 189 third links. I'm not sure what that is, but that's probably awesome. Um, and the phone will be kind of dark. You don't have to be scared because it's it's doing a lot of things. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we will have a root. We will have a root. And we're we are gonna go ahead and see that as well. But you also get like confirmation uh, in the background here uh, once it's finished and once it's uh, ready to go. Also, I'm one of those guys that you know, if not some, if if uh, I'm having a hard time to figure out how you know program works or something like that, I you know problem solve it. <clears throat> and uh, it was the same thing with this root thingy. Uh, I was you know googling for a couple of hours and doing a lot of things. Uh, and then finally, I I'm I, I be, I'm I'm able to root my phone. Uh, I didn't know anything about rooting just two days ago, and now it feels like I'm a pro at this. And I'm only been doing this for maybe like six hours max. Yeah, you may say that that's a lot of time. <coughs> Researching metallic boost. Okay, speed links on the go. And then you get these like a crazy hex code. <coughs> Rooting the device, and hopefully it will work. I think it will work because I I got it to work um, one time before, but that was running another. Okay, uh, rush this again. It's a gigi man killing ADB and restarting as root. Enjoy. Okay, so now it should restart my phone. So hopefully that will work. Don't be scared though, because the screen is black. <laughs> 